Welcome back, my friends and movie maniacs out there. Today we are going to take a look at a film about misdirection and magic, and that's called Now You See Me. It's a film that's directed by Louis Leterrier, and who brought us such movies as Transporter 1 and 2, The Incredible Hulk, and Clash of the Titans. Well, this time around he tells the story of the Four Horsemen, these four magicians, played by Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Ilsa Fisher, and Dave Franco. And these four magicians are under the investigation by the FBI. Why? Well, because they have a tendency to pull off a bank heist during magic shows and then giving the money from said bank heist to the audience. Now, how fun would that be, huh? Well, the FBI doesn't like it too much, and they send Agent Dylan Rhodes, played by Mark Ruffalo, and the Interpol sends Alma Dre, played by Melanie Laurent, to go after these magicians, who uh, definitely seem to be 1, 10, 18 steps ahead of everyone. Though, uh, there is Thaddeus Bradley, played by Morgan Freeman, who makes his job and earns a lot of money on his TV show debunking magicians. So he's after them as well, in for earning the money and proving on how they're doing this and uh, trying to stay at least on top of what they're doing. Um, now You See Me is a heist film and a magic film, and those seems to go well together, the elements of magic and heist, because at least for a heist film, you want misdirection. You want this stuff happening over here while this other stuff's happening behind the scenes that you don't see. And the film does that very well in the misdirection department. Can't go too much into the story because the twists that are along it are some of the most entertaining moments in the film, and I don't want to ruin them for you. What I can say, though, that you don't get a huge amount of magic in this film because it's mostly told from the perspective of Agent Dylan Rhodes, uh, Mark Ruffalo. We follow his character along with Melanie Laurent's character throughout most of the film. It's told from their perspective, so you don't see a whole lot of screen time from the magicians or a whole lot of magician uh, time, tricks time, but the tricks that you do see are a lot of fun and very flashy. Uh, especially like one of them, uh, one of the scenes they do in uh, New Orleans studio where the thing trick with bubbles. I loved that bit of it. Uh, so very great fun uh, magic tricks when they are on screen, though there isn't a lot of that. And like I said, uh, we don't follow the magicians too much, so you don't get a lot of depth of their character or exploration of their character, but you get what role they play, and that really is all you need for the film. You get Jesse Eisenberg's Daniel Atlas, who's a street uh, performing magician, you know, he does stuff right in front of your face in that, and a very big spectacle for the stuff he does, and, you know, he was really well cast, that fast-talking cadence that uh, Jesse Eisenberg really can do, really fit the idea for a magician who's looking at misdirecting you. Uh, Woody Harrelson's mentalist, I loved his character, it was a lot of fun, uh, again, I wish I would have had some more screen time with him, because he was just very entertaining as the guy who does hypnosis, as well as reading people people and uh, getting out their truths about them. So I really liked him as well. Now, Ilsa Fisher and Dave Franco's character, unfortunately, kind of fall a little bit by the wayside. We don't get too much about them outside of their opening scenes to establish what kind of magic people they are, though Dave Franco does get a fantastic action scene in there with Mark Ruffalo and well as one other uh, FBI agent in the apartment and an ensuing car chase afterwards. Loved that whole scene. Oh, it was, it was great and you can tell this director really can handle action scenes well. That's where his forte is, and that's definitely some of the more exciting scenes in this movie. It's a very kinetic movie as well. It moves along nicely, and I think that's part of the misdirection to keep you from uh, figuring out exactly what's going on and figuring out the twists before they're revealed on screen. Morgan Freeman's always fun to see on screen and does very well as the Thaddeus Bradley guy trying to debunk these magicians. Loved his uh, performance, and always great to see him. My Michael Caine makes an appearance in here as well, and it's always good to see him in a role on the big screen, too. And uh, there's a couple scenes with them uh, that are beautiful. I mean, you could tell two veteran actors, uh, they just eat up that scene, and I really liked that. This film does not have a lot of depth. It has a lot of action and misdirection and things going on, which I enjoyed and I look for in a heist film. I think you'll enjoy it, too. I gave it three and a half stubs, okay? While there was maybe a little bit of um, swooping camera direction that wasn't needed in the beginning, that was a bit of a distraction, everything else about the film is very flashy and fun and keeps you moving right along and makes you forget about the uh, runtime at all and make you just immerse yourself and enjoy this picture. I felt I got my money's worth, and I think you will too, at least for a matinee. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.